Travel Oregon. Please welcome Jack Otter. Jack Otter. Excuse me. Hi there. Hey, hey Jack. Hey Stacy. Hey Jay. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. Good evening, folks. My name is Jack Otter, and I'm with Travel Oregon. Uh, we designed the original Seven Wonders of Oregon. Uh, I tried picking one part on the coast to be the spot, but it's all too beautiful, so it's just the whole thing. <laughs> In fact, our campaign has been so successful that the well-known spots around Oregon have had their spot totally blown up. I mean, when is the last time you were able to bathe nude in Crater Lake without an entire family <laughs> staring at you? Thank right, you. Jay? Yep. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a problem for me later, Jack. Oh, yeah. It's blown up. Don't go on a weekend. Trust okay. me. Okay. But that's exactly why we've come up with the new Seven Wonders of Oregon. Uh, these were all submitted by real Oregonians and voted on through an online poll on Reddit. So you know it's legit. Let's dive in. Uh, number seven, the tram ride from OHSU down to the waterfront. What better way to take in Mount Hood, the Willamette River, and the Portland skyline all at once? But only the ride down, because you have to pay to ride back up, and that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, totally. Number six, the plaid pantry at 99th and Powell. <laughs> okay. You laugh, but they have a surprisingly varied selection of micro brews, and the fridges are extra cold, perfect for a day like today. Pro tip, go when Gary's working, he'll sell you a jewel even if you're under 21. Oh. So I've been told. Number five is Chinatown. <laughs> Home to literally one Chinese restaurant. We've been told that the best dish is the cream of some young guy served up over at CC Slaughter's. It's conveniently served by six Mac stops all within three blocks of each other. They're getting rid of a couple of them. Talk to your metro counselor. Number four. Shots fired. Taking shots of the guests. That's how you win them over. Seriously, folks, I'm only halfway through. <laughs> Number four, the bins. Yeah. Yeah. There we go, crowd favorite. Everything is damp, broken, and missing a piece, just like us. You never know what you'll find, from vintage jackets to tetanus. Yeah. Oh, we've all had it. Number three, that part of I-5 North near the Moda Center where the right lane suddenly disappears. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been there. Have you ever wanted to live out your Vin Diesel fantasy and narrowly escape being crushed between a tractor trailer and a jersey barrier? Well, look no for further than this poorly designed on-ramp. It's like Frogger, but with way more cars and way more dangerous. Number two, go east, young man, to the scenic city of Gresham. <laughs> the gateway to the gateway of the gorge. And meth. <laughs> And finally, at number one, uh, the lovely Tom McCall Waterfront Park. A perfect place Whoa. to walk a dog, throw a frisbee, and watch armed white supremacists from Vancouver be protected by our Oregon police that our taxes pay for. But I hear the milkshakes are delicious. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the new Seven Wonders of Oregon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Stacey. Thank you. Sponsor. Your hometown of Gresham made the list. Gresham, yes. yes <laughs> That's yeah. pretty great.